It is one conflict after another. Lisa Bracken's home in Silk, Colorado sits between two fracking pads. She's waged about a dozen legal battles with the driller in Canna, but says the biggest was over a 2004 natural gas seep into nearby Divide Creek. And Canna denies wrongdoing. In 2004, you could light a flame a foot high off that creek. Bracken says in Canna offered her a non disclosure agreement as part of a settlement, but that she turned it down. She called it a common practice. In exchange for a couple of bucks here, we get your silence here. For a lot of landowners, you know, they, they kind of. Sadly, they welcome that because it is such a contentious environment. It's not just silt. Bloomberg reviewed hundreds of regulatory and legal filings and found drillers paying for silence over water contamination complaints in at least half a dozen states. At the same time, the industry contends there's nothing to hide. There has never been a case of groundwater contamination as a result of hydraulic fracturing. That's something the EPA is studying. The agency also warned in a 1987 report that secret settlements could make it harder to collect data on fracking's water and health impacts. It's the equivalent of burying the bodies. They just don't want this information to ever come and, and haunt them again. A young woman. Take Laura Amos's story, shown in the documentary The Split Estate. Though the state found no evidence that fluids linked to cancer entered her well, Amos blamed fracking when she developed an adrenal tumor. And Canna disagreed with Amos's claims, but the company still bought her property here in Silt for $310,000. As part of the settlement, Amos agreed to a non disclosure pact. The number of people whose The outspoken been... advocate, who was described by the Denver Post as the Aaron Brockovich of Garfield County, has since moved more than 60 miles away. She refused Bloomberg's interview requests, and when state regulators subpoenaed her to testify this winter, she backed out. The oil and gas industry essentially said, if you speak, we will sue you. Megan Hughes, Bloomberg, Silt, Colorado.